This was intentional. There is absolutely no way you can convince me that this was not intentional. And the main reason I say this is because deacons at Woke United Methodist, they have a very long history of disrespecting the country, more specifically, disrespecting anything that has to do with patriotism. These are the same people that celebrated when Colin Kaepernick kneeled for the national anthem. These are the same people who exercised their right to remain silent when peaceful protesters are burning the American flag in the country that gives them the freedom to do so. All these students at Woke U, these college kids who are studying which letter they want to identify as when they grow up, instead of studying something that, I don't know, will help them earn a living, something that will teach them how to start a business or be qualified to get a job at Burger King. When I was in college, one of the first questions they asked was, what is your major? Today they ask, what is your letter? Oh, I am a Q. I'm questioning. <laughs> it's all right to be questioning, but Uncle Casey hates to be the bearer of bad news. Getting a college degree in the art of identification that ain't going to pay your bills. The only thing you'll be questioning is how long it's going to be before you're evicted. Although night two of the Democratic National Convention was a hell of a lot better than night one, it still wasn't without its embarrassing moments. The problem is, I don't think this particular moment was embarrassing for deacons at Woke United Methodist. It should have been, but I don't think they were embarrassed. I think they looked at this as one big joke. If you haven't already, make sure to like and subscribe. You can follow me on Twitter at KC underscore BTL84. Let's go ahead and get to the sponsor for today's video because this brand, it fits perfectly with the topic of this video. My good friends over at Redvival. With everything that has happened over the last five to six weeks, the failed attempt on Donald Trump along with Cam Harris being nominated for president without receiving a single vote, I think most of us can agree that America desperately needs a revival. One of my favorite things about our sponsor, Redvival, is their tagline, Revive America. Isn't that what the country desperately needs right now. Redvival is a colorful, patriotic brand that offers a variety of options. If you're into hunting, you can go with the camouflaged hats. Redvival offers a variety of unisex t-shirts. And just to be clear, when Redvival says unisex, that does not mean they are designed for those questioning their gender. It just means the t-shirts. They can be worn by both men and women. They offer a variety of unisex t-shirts with different illustrations of the American flag. Now this one right here, this one is one of my favorites. It shows Isaiah 6:8. It's a passage from the Old Testament where God is asking who he should send, and Isaiah says, send me. Isn't that the same thing our brave men, our brave women in the military are saying every day? Send me. Redvival is a proud veteran-owned business who donate 10% of every sale to various military charities. So support our military veterans. Click the link in the description below. Use my promo code BTL10, BTL10. Save 10% off your first purchase with Redvival. I get out of the shower last night, and as I'm walking to the living room to watch the DNC, I hear this god-awful sound coming from the front of the house. I could smell the food coming from the kitchen, so I figured my wife was singing while she was cooking. My wife is great at just about everything, great decorator, great cook. She is good at keeping everything organized, mainly me. Hell, she's a great wife, but if there's one thing that she's not good at, she ain't a great singer. I wouldn't even call it mediocre. But as I walked into the living room, it didn't take me long to discover that it wasn't her that was singing. This painful, god-awful, unbearable noise, it was coming from the TV. Since day one of the convention was such a disaster, Democrats, they decided to give us a special treat to begin day two. They selected a group of unknown women to perform the national anthem. Since the DNC is organized by deacons at Woke United Methodist, they made sure the group of women they chose was very inclusive. <laughs> 
They ensured that everyone was represented in the group. The group was racially diverse. All age groups were represented over the age of 55. The deacons also made sure that there was plenty of body positivity. All the woke boxes were checked. There was just one problem, one tiny problem. While the deacons were working to ensure that all the appropriate woke requirements were satisfied, they overlooked one key aspect when selecting people to perform and sing the national anthem. Talent. Watch for yourself. When I initially saw this last night, I thought it was a parody. I thought this was another failed attempt at woke comedy. The problem with that initial theory is there was absolutely nothing funny about it. Sure, the participants, they were laughing their ass off. The women attempting to sing, they were having a good time. Those of us watching at home, we were miserable. Like I said earlier, I think this was intentional. I have never booked someone to perform the national anthem, but if I was responsible for booking talent to perform, if I was working for the Saints or the Pelicans, something like that, and it was my responsibility to find people to sing the national anthem before games, I'm going to screen the performers. Obviously, if it's someone like Mariah Carey, Whitney Houston, Dolly Parton, there's no need to make them audition because we already know they've got talent. But if you're booking someone unknown, if I'm booking the Women's Club of Chicago, I'm making them audition. I'm not putting my ass on the line so they can get up there and giggle their way through the national anthem while forgetting half the lyrics. Which is why I believe this performance last night at the DNC, this was intentional. It would be one thing if there was a semblance of a decent voice amongst those women and they just screwed up the lyrics. That's understandable. Maybe nerves got the best of them. You miss one of the lines. I can understand that. But there was not a single one performing the national anthem last night that didn't sound like a cat in heat. Hell, the best performer, she was the one on the left. She didn't even bother trying to sing the lyrics. She was too busy on her phone filming whatever the hell was going on behind the camera. Maybe her grandkids were there to watch her perform. Hell, I don't know. Hey, little Timmy, let Granny film you in that dress while her friends from the Backgammon Club butcher the national anthem. There seems to be this media-created narrative that patriotism is exclusive to the Republican Party. The media, they have turned patriot into something that has a negative connotation. If you love your country, you must be one of them MAGA Republicans. This performance last night, it... It almost felt like a fuck you to Donald Trump and the Republican Party. I have never been in the military, so I can't even begin to tell you how the men and women in our military would feel about something like this. But I try to think how I would feel if I was in the military and I saw this. You sacrifice your life for your country. Most people in the military, they sacrifice their youth. While I was in college acting like a complete maniac in my 20s, there were a lot of dudes that I went to high school with. They were over in Iraq and Afghanistan fighting in the war. God only knows, literally, because I doubt Johnny B. Biden knows this, God only knows where our military is serving today. There is conflict in Ukraine, conflict in the Middle East. Do we have boots on the ground over there? I don't know. But how do you think they feel? 
when they see a performance like that. How do you think they feel when they see a group making a complete mockery of the national anthem at a convention that is designed to nominate someone for president? If Cam Harris wins this election, God forbid, but if Cam Harris wins this election, she is going to be in control of the military. And that is the message that you are sending to the men and the women that are serving? If this same exact thing happened last month at the Republican convention, the mainstream media, they would have been relentless in their coverage of it. It would have been headline news at CNN, the wicked weave at MSNBC. She would be flying around her studio wickedly laughing as she criticized Donald Trump. It has been almost 24 hours since that performance. Guess how many mainstream media outlets have picked up the story? Just take a wild guess. <laughs> None. CNN, PBS, NPR, they all published recaps of the DNC last night. None of them mentioned this performance. Hmm. I wonder why. Last month, some drunk country music singer, she attempted to perform the national anthem at the Home Run Derby in Major League Baseball. The performance was atrocious. It was bad, but it was nowhere near as bad compared to what we saw last night at the DNC. When it happened last month, it was wall-to-wall coverage throughout the mainstream media. The media coverage was so rampant The poor girl who sang it, she checked herself into rehab. Her name was Ingrid Andrus, I believe, and I mentioned her name because I could not find the names of any of the women who performed last night. That is how little media coverage there is. The mainstream media, they conveniently ignored this story. Why? Maybe they don't want any negative publicity for Cam Harris. I saw a report the other day that compared media coverage between Cam and the Trumper. Over 80% of the coverage that Cam Harris has received, it has been positive. With Trump, it's the complete opposite. Over 80% of the media coverage he receives is overwhelmingly negative. Yet somehow... Donald Trump is still up 10 points in the latest Rasmussen poll. The media... They are busting their ass trying to get Cam Harris elected. Will it work? Do you think the mainstream media still has that much influence? You tell me. Also, give me your thoughts on this performance of the national anthem last night at the DNC, if you can even call that a performance. Do you think that was intentional? Or were these ladies just nervous? Sound off in the comments below. Like, subscribe, share the video. Appreciate your support. Best way to contact me is by email at btlkc84 at gmail.com and I'll see you guys tomorrow.